Hey power users, sorry for the outfit, but the ball is getting colder around here and they turn on the heating, so I need to be hooded. And today we will be talking about update if and filter functions. So for many of you, for most of you, maybe probably, the update if is the way to go when we are trying to patch collection or data source. But what if we want to use the update if with the filter? Because the filter is for example, if you want to go with the for all, the filter will just narrow our search or uh, narrow our uh, uh, big data table to a smaller one, for which in the consecutive steps, we can just address uh, any function we want. And for this, I want to try and use the filter at update if, and we will see what happens. So I have my, my table. And this is the collection based on my table. This is called board games. And based on the rating functions, I want to, to change this, this column, this top 100 viable to, for example, to true. So what we are trying to achieve, and do not do this at home, uh, please. Let, first of all, I've selected update functions, and in there, in the first argument, like in the for all argument, I try to use the filter board games and filter only the record where the rating is present. So is blank with exclamation mark rating means that it will only count the records in which rating is not null. And in the second argument, I've used the true just to mm, just to ignore any conditions around here and this the only condition is the filter one and I want to patch the visible on 100 on top 100 uh, rating to, to true and what happens you can see the ratings here when I just pull these functions off there are no mistakes there are no defects so the functions should be pulled off Sometimes when defect appears, it only will be attached to the debugger in the formulas when we will press the button or execute the functions. But this is not the case. So basically, uh, power ups is telling me that this function word, the no values, should be changed to yes values. That's right. This will reset our collection. Yeah, that worked. But what happened if I just want to, to change to false and execute the function again? Let's reset our collection. The no worked. So my rating records with the rating were changed to no, but all the other records also as well. This is pretty puzzling, don't you think? I was uh, puzzled also. As well, when I tried this, I just tried it blindly without uh, documentation, and the documentation actually ignores this problem. <laughs> so, what happens there is the filter function was completely ignored in the first argument. When it should happen, then we sh we probably need some kind of indication about the error, about the defect, but we are not getting this it will ignore the filter options, but it will actually take the board games as our first argument. So it just ignore the, f the filter. In the second argument, we have true. That means that all the rows in our database, our dataverse uh, table will be affected by the third argument, which is setting the top rating for false or true. Or true. What you can learn from this lesson is that you cannot filter the first argument. If you have the data source, which will be higher than 2000 records, you cannot use this filter function because it's not delegable. And uh, you can only grab max 2000 records based on our delegation settings. And then to, you can proceed the next step, the, 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 the second one and the third one. In, uh, this, uh, uh, in this example, we can just really 
fix this easy, you can ignore the filter function. Set is blanked rating to true. Oh, sorry, set is blank rating to second argument and ignore that and delete the, the true. We have now board games, which in which only non-blank rating will be affected and we can change this visible to true to see what happens in with our collection. And reset the collection. And as you see, the four rows which had rating were affected by our function, we are ready to go with this. Remember, if delegation is the problem, if you have really big data source, uh, you had to you have to use other means than update if you have to use for all patch or you can use patch and your collection which uh, will have if the collection have the GUID you can use the patch uh, board games comma and then use the collection name in order to patch everything based on your criteria and this will be delegable I mean the collection will still have Still, still will have max uh, 2000 records, but you can, the filter will be based on your collection, not on the entire data source. You can use the updated plus filter in first argument. You can use it in second argument, for example, if I don't have anything like this, but if I will had any kind of ID, then, then I can look up the my my collection called them collection and id call this item uh, this record id if i had those id this is already underlined because i had no such thing as id in our collection but it, it could work like this if you had the proper data so remember, don't use well filter in first argument. It's just not working. I'm really sorry. I hope that someday this will be attached to Power Apps because it's it's pretty annoying. Or at least we should have the defect indicator. This is something I wish for. So have a good day or night or whenever wherever you are. If you like this video, you can uh, watch my other video. I made a lot of content from Power Ops and I will make a lot of it in the future. See you. Bye.